I am going to tell you today how to lie to yourself to get your bills paid on time. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you are subscribed, welcome to my channel if you're new. This is Midlife Adulting. I am Nikki, 45 years old and working through midlife and not doing such a bad job of it either. I think I'm, I think I'm doing okay. Today I wanted to talk about how to pay your bills on time because this is not a skill that was explicitly taught to me ever. And like I said, I'm 45. So this was back in the 80s and the early 90s where they weren't teaching us in high school. My parents weren't teaching me and this is not like their fault, but it's important to not get collection calls on your bills. And easiest way to avoid that and to keep your credit score good is pay the little buggers on time. The very first and most obvious way to pay your bills on time is to um, pay your bills on time. But that's not one of the things I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about first direct debit. So a lot of your bills will say, hey, give us your cart, your bank information, give us a debit card or a credit card to keep on file, and we'll just take the money when we want it. It'll be perfect. We, we may give you a discount. We will always get our money on time. And so it'll be fantastic. I don't like this method with certain exceptions because I like to be in control of when my money is going somewhere. I don't like it when banks just take it when, when bill pay, billers just grab the money when they want it. Because what if I don't have enough money in my account? What if I, you know, get overdrawn? What if I don't even know? So for some people, this is not a concern, but for me, it's a concern. I like to be in, a little more in control than that. And so that is not my favorite method, but it is a very valid method of getting your bills paid on time. Another way you can get all your bills paid on time is you can schedule them all on your bank's website. I would love to say that all banks have this, but I don't know because I'm not a member of all banks. I'm a member of one bank and my bank lets me schedule bill payments monthly to go out every single month at the same time. It lets me schedule them one time in advance or one time just right now and scheduling all of your bills to go out every single month. It puts you in control. You have the date set in there and you know it's gonna get there when it's due the bank will often tell you when it will be delivered by now does that mean that they the 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 bill is going to receive it and open it and credit you in an appropriately timely manner no it's entirely possible your check is you know going to a PO box that somebody pulls all the mail from once a week and then makes the deposits the next week that's something to be aware of right away. And you only learn that by experience, but you want to make sure that you're aware of that so that if that's happening to you, you can pay at the appropriate time so that it gets there in time. But still not my favorite way of paying my bills on time. My favorite way of paying my bills on time is lying to myself. Um, get the calendar, a blank calendar. I actually have available on my coffee shop, a blank calendar. It is a entitled one month blank bill paying calendar, horribly original, very descriptive title. And basically this is what I used when I first took control of my bills to get things paid on time. So the way my method works is this on, and this is the only time you're going to do this step one, but step one is, write down when every single bill you have is due on your blank calendar. So you'll fill in the dates for the month you're working on. This month is September. Uh, so I fill my numbers out to be September. Then I write down what the bill is, how much I owe and how often I owe it. In September, I may have to pay my water bill, but I only have to pay it once a quarter. So I need to ignore it for the next two months and then pay for it the third month. I included a note section on this calendar to list 
the additional bills that aren't coming up this month. So when you look at next month's calendar and you're pulling over all of your dates, it's just there. You just have it, right? Um, so maybe in my notes, I would write water bill paid July due November. That's not three months. That's not six months. That's a weird number, but whatever. You know, you're going to, you'll be able to, then every single month you'll be like, oh, it's due in November. Oh, it's due in November. Oh, it's due this month. Then here's where the line comes in. The day the bill is due, let's say it's due on a Thursday. Let's say it's due on the third, fourth th Thursday of the month, right? Or it's due on the 21st every single month. One week before that, the Thursday before that, seven days before that, you're going to write pay and the bill's name. So let's say you're talking about your water cell. You are going to write on the day it's due, water, $125 quarterly. The week before, you're going to like pay water. And then you're going to have two days now that have information for this bill. You're going to repeat that process then for all of your bills. So you'll have just a crap ton written on your calendar. You're going to have each bill. You're going to have your electricity. You're going to have your internet you're gonna have whatever streaming services you use you're gonna have all of your bills written down once on the day they're due and also pay this bill the week before right and then when you get paid let's say you get paid on the very first of the month and you also get paid the 15th of the month right so you're gonna go through your calendar anything that says pay bill before between when you get paid and your next paycheck you're going to pay all those bills now this assumes you have the money in your bank account to pay these bills on payday that's a big assumption for me i do happen to be okay to do that so that's what i do i just pay everything um i actually happen to get paid every other friday so for me friday comes and i look at Everything that's, uh, that says pay bill from fr this Friday to two Fridays from now, I actually look to the, I look to Thursdays and I pay everything that happens until I get paid next because I'm going to pay them on time. And because everything's written the week before, whether I am posting a check three days, whether I'm asking my bank to post a check a business day and then three days, whether I am doing an online payment, which could be tomorrow when it takes effect or an online payment and it takes effect today, everything is getting there on time. Places don't care if you pay early. Once they send you their invoice, they're happy to get paid. And honestly, some of them probably don't hate getting paid before that because it's on time, right? They don't have to worry that their money's gonna get there. They know that you've paid for the next month or whatever. Or the previous month and you're good to go where does the lying come in you may wonder the line comes in when you come to the next month because on the next month you are not going to write down on the day the bill is due you are going to write the bill on the pay bill by date so if your bill is due on the third thursday and you wrote down pay bill on the second Thursday on your new calendar, you are going to write pay bill, whatever the bill name is and the amount. And that's it. You could write MO for monthly. You could write QTR for quarterly. And then you're going to, when that, when you have it filled out with the appropriate ones, including whatever quarterly or annual bills you've taken from the notes, and carry it over. So in your notes for last month, you had a Dropbox that was due October, September, October. Oh my gosh, October 7th. You had Dropbox written on due October 15th yearly. So now you're gonna write in, not on the 15th, you're gonna write pay Dropbox on the 8th. Bam. And now because your brain doesn't retain things anymore because COVID and stress and et cetera, maybe your brain does retain things. I'm mistalking for me. Uh, 
you're set because now your bills, you think they're due the week before they're actually due. So because you're paying them when you get paid, everything between when you get paid and when you get paid next, they're all just taken care of. Bam, lying to yourself. Bills paid on time. It's a good reason to lie for, to yourself, honestly. At any rate, that's what I do. That's how I got my bills paid on time. And I tell you what, it has been the best lying I've ever done. And honestly, I've moved from a piece of paper to digital. I now do this process in um, Google Sheet, or not Google Sheets, Google Calendar. Uh, I have all of my bills written. I have the bill name, the amount that they're due, and if it's an automatic payment, because I do have some automatic payments. I always went through telling you how much I hate that, but I do have some automatic payments. So I have everything in Google, and when I get paid, I actually don't do it the day I get paid, I do it on Sunday, because anything I would try to pay on Friday wouldn't go through the next business day anyway, which is gonna be Monday. So I do it on Sunday nights and I just pay all my bills until the next day I get paid and I know everything's gonna get there on time. And I even have the bills that have been late because they're going to a PO box and not getting checked for a week and then potentially not getting checked by the day they're due. I actually have them listed two weeks before they're due. Does the hospital care if I pay them two weeks early? No. Are they happy to get their money? Yes. Bam. If you are interested in one of my, if you are interested in one of my one month blank bill paying calendar sheets, I have them available for free over in my coffee shop. They are listed as free plus. So if you would like to make a donation, it is appreciated, but not required. And I really do appreciate your time. I am going to uh, spend some time filling in numbers so you guys can get that perspective. And yeah, I really, uh, I really appreciate your time. I hope you've learned something. I hope this helps you pay your bills on time if you've been struggling with that. And if not, if you have another method that works for you and you don't want to try my method, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. How do you figure out when you're going to pay your bills so that everything's always on time? I'd love to hear it. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for watching, listening, hearing, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.